So in this video series, we'll go through one of my favorite book in communication, The Crucial Conversation. And this book is a result of 20 plus years of research in communication. And they researched thousands of people in different organizations. And they implemented the finding in 300 plus Fortune 500 companies, right? So fairly credible book. And the book talks about crucial conversation. And they define the crucial conversation is the one where there is a difference in the opinions and the stakes are high and the emotions run is strong, right? So this is the probably uh, the hardest kind of communication, the hardest kind of conversation that we can have. So the, uh, the opinions vary, the stakes are high and emotions run is strong, right? So let's take an example. For example, for a hypothetical example, let's say I work in an organization uh, which teaches the underprivileged children for free, right? And I align with their cause, so I volunteer there, and I'm volunteering there from last 10 years, just for a hypothetical situation, not a real situation. Now, let's say in that organization, the leadership teams decided that they want to start charging a nominal amount of fees to these uh, uh, children, right? Or maybe they want to scale their infrastructure or something like that. And my opinion was, we are doing this out of um, the point of view of serving. We do not want to scale and do these kind of things. We are doing it because, you know, uh, the underlying motive was to serve these children, right? So there is a difference in the opinions, right? Maybe they have a different kind of opinion. Maybe they were thinking in terms of, you know, uh, impacting more people or whatever. But it was clearly different from my opinion to be engaged in this organization from last 10 years, right? So there's a clearly difference in the opinion. And then uh, the stakes are high. So, you know, I am firmly believed in my opinion and probably they are firmly believed in their opinion. So if that line of uh, uh, action continues, then probably I'll have to leave the organization. And I've been at, in, engaged with them for last 10 plus years. So definitely I have connection with that, that organization, right? So uh, leaving that is a very high stake decision for me. Right. So the stakes are high, the opinions are different. And when these things happen, of course, the emotions run very strong. Right. So that becomes like a very crucial conversation for me to have with them. Right. So this is the kind of conversation. Uh, this is uh, the kind of conversation that book calls the crucial conversation. And our quality of life depends on how we handle this kind of crucial conversation. Right. And how do we handle this crucial conversation anyway? So one way to handle them is that in this hypothetical situation, I, let's say, I say nothing and I just leave out of the organization, right? I just stay silent and I just left the organization. That is one way of handling the crucial conversation, not a very smart way, but that's how we handle it without, you know, knowing how to do it properly. The second way is I can be furious about it. I, I can, you know, shout and scream. I can start tweeting about it. This organization has gone evil or something like that, right? So that is another way for me to handle this kind of crucial conversation. Uh, then I can also handle it by having a dialogue with them. But because this is such an important thing for me, uh, the chances are as soon as the dialogue becomes, uh, it will end up either in accusing or, you know, uh, it won't have that much of constructive result that uh, we hope from it, right? The chances are I will just start uh, telling them you shouldn't have done this. You have, you know, what are you thinking and all that kind of stuff, right? Uh, because th there are emotions involved in that, right? So. That is another way of handling it, not a very smart way. But that's how we handle crucial conversation, right? We, either we don't do it, we don't, um, you know, touch on these kind of a touchy stuff, right? Or we, you know, become accusive or we become violent or we just, you know, talk to other people. But then this conversation doesn't come up with a meaningful result, but more like, you know, acquisition and sort of uh, broken relationships, right? So this is... Uh, not easy communication. This is not an easy conversation to have actually. And the book is going through in a great detail to how to uh, first of all understand what the conversation is and what is happening, right? And then how do we handle these kind of conversation which is the most complex kind of conversation uh, properly. And along with that we also learn how to handle normal communication properly, right? And if we can handle these kind of conversation properly and in fact they say uh, the best of the best leaders and they, that they researched are the ones who when faced with this kind of situation where the opinions varies and the stakes are high and all that kind of stuff. The way they handle this conversation is such that when they come out of the conversation, they end up with a very nice solution. They end up with a, a fruitful solution. At the same time, they build the relationship also, 
right? So something, you know, even when the opinion varies and the stakes are high, they could handle that kind of conversation in a um, in such a way that uh, it it strengthens the relationship and it gets the uh, work done as well, right? So very very uh, important skills to have. So in this video series, we'll take a look at it in the great detail and we'll see how to have this kind of crucial conversation. So I hope you will join me and I think uh, we'll learn something very useful.